obviously pleased with the outcome. Um, you know, we really wanted to focus on um, ourselves and not practicing bad habits. I thought we had some lapses there. I mean, obviously, I'm not as concerned about the score as, as how we're playing. So we got to shore a few of those things up because our next opponent's a little different. Um, so, but overall, it was, I think, the best uh, couple of things that we, we were able to accomplish. Everybody got to play. Um, it was phenomenal to see a player like Annie Pavlansky, who's been working her tail off every day for four years and is a phenomenal student here, uh, 4.0 student here to get in. And, and um, I think that's her career high. Maybe it's close. Maybe she had 13 in the game. But, uh, but it, was it was great, her teammates cheering her on to keep shooting the ball because she knocked down back-to-back -back threes. And it was great to see some of that happen, everybody get some playing time. And then obviously with Casey, as far as we know, the, the, the first triple-double in women's basketball history here at Kent State. So, um, and on a... Uh, Fittingly, on a day when we uh, memorialized and we remembered Bonnie Beachy, um, who's the all-time leading scorer, men's or women's here, and her her jersey is retired. Only women's basketball players so far with her jersey retired. Um, for Casey to get a triple double on that day, I thought was was very symbolic and kind of cool. So it was great to have Bonnie's brother here. Bonnie unfortunately passed away in 2017 from cancer. So it was great. It was a it was an emotional start to the game. It was great to see him here, and, and um, uh, but also to to have the type of performances that we had from both both of these two players as well. So um, overall, really good. Pleased with the start on the season. Uh, we've got a lot more work to do, though. All right. uh, questions for Anna and Casey. Casey, have you ever had somebody cheer for you and get an assist before? Um, no, I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> what was it like? I mean, did you, how close, did you know you were that close? I did know I was that close, um, because when he took me out, everyone was like, put her back in, she needs two more assists, <laughs> so that's kind of how I knew. And, you know, I hate, well, how does it feel question, but what does it feel like to um, a triple-double for the first time? It feels pretty special, it feels pretty awesome, but I couldn't have done it without my teammates knocking down the shots, mm -hmm. so... Also credit to them because I couldn't have done it without them. You had those three assists on three pointers in a row in the fourth quarter. Yeah. That must have been a high. Yeah, it was awesome. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because when he was that close, I'm like, I have to get him. They have to knock it down. So. <laughs> Hannah, talk about watching a triple double. You got a double double of your own. We'll talk about that in a <laughs> second. But what was it like? <laughs> I kept saying she's insane. <laughs> yeah, I um. It's really cool to see something like that, and we were just cheering on her, like our teammates, like, "Hey, like, she can't get these assists unless you knock them down." So, mm -hmm. I think everyone it was like a team effort to be able to get something like that. So, it's pretty cool. Jamie, do you have anything to hear about? Yeah, to kind of talk about, you know, uh, you know, on the defensive end, you know, playing it from the clearing and holding them to, you know, a low shooting percentage. Just kind of, you know, what you guys are doing on defense out there. Um. Really, I think overall we. We played solid defense, but it could have been a lot better. Like we, in multiple of our timeouts, we like we weren't really communicating and we weren't in our gaps that good. So um, it's pretty cool to hold them to the amount of points we did. But like, I think it could have been even better if we would have like been more connected and communicated better. You have to fight against a I don't know letdown's not the right word, but I think oh Todd said, it. how do you fight against bad habits when you're playing a D two or D three team? What what what's your mindset? That just comes with being focused and knowing what we do in practice. And basically, like, if you practice all those good habits and you compete every day, it's going to transfer into the games. And if you play focused and intentional in these games, it'll transfer over to hopefully when we play for Florida State and in the MAC. Talk about your, your double-double. It was You had it by three minutes to go in the third quarter, mm -hmm. I think, or three minutes into the third quarter. Did you know that you were on a roll as that was going? Um, I think one of the coaches said something like, "Hey, you're like four away from your uh, like, your, what's it called, your record or whatever for rebounds," <laughs> and he was like, "Try to beat it," and I was like, "Okay." <laughs> I didn't end up beating it, but that's fine. Yeah, you but um, only played twenty minutes. <laughs> that's you know, that's when I found out that I had it. But it's pretty cool. What's it like to see people like Annie and Jenna? They played a lot of minutes, but so did. Um, Lex's first minutes in about a month, I think. So, you know, when you, for the starters, what's it feel like to see them 
do real well? Um, it feels amazing to like have your teammates succeed when they don't. They're always cheering us on and helping us out get through the tough games. So like when they get in and do good, it's it's awesome. Mm -hmm. Bridget has uh, what fifteen and seven, I think. fifteen and seven. Talk talk about how you know she's doing really well for a freshman. So what does she do well? What makes Bridget a good player? Um, I mean, I think she comes into work every day in practice and. She's really good at shooting, and she um, like shooting the three, and just playing hard, and just she's a really good uh, teammate, and being able to work together as a team, and a good listener, and I think that's helping her become a really good uh, freshman player. She was on the other side of a bunch of your assists. Yes. Um, in there, um, is there a chemistry there, or do you just try to have chemistry with everybody? <laughs> um, I try to have chemistry with everybody, but. Um... Maybe it's a coincidence today. We were shooting, uh, we were doing like three in a row after shoot around, so maybe that helped, but try to have chemistry with everybody. What is three? What is uh, we three? had to make three in a row, like three in a row around the, around the, oh, okay. uh, before the arc. game, they were yeah. shooting together and they were, yeah, oh, okay. play, playing a little game of, yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah. Just make three shots in a row. <laughs> do you do that before every game with somebody? Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Used to with Abby. <laughs> yeah, used to with Abby, but she's, cheering us on right now, so. Anything else for student athletes? How does it feel to be eight and one? Um, it feels pretty good. Mm -hmm. Better, better than the alternative. Yeah. <laughs> yep. awesome. We just right. want to keep building off of it. Yep. Awesome. Thanks, ladies. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Yep. Oh, oh. Yeah, I mean, I wasn't really aware. I, uh, I think both of them just, they both play very hard. You know, you're talking about Hannah's double-double and Casey's triple-double. They just both play play hard. I don't think we were necessarily aware that, that things were at, at a certain level, per se. Um, and the what I think one of the assistant coaches, I can't remember who, and some of the players were kind of, as we got into third quarter, were kind of letting me know, hey, Casey only needs three rebounds and two assists or something like that. I was like, oh, okay. And then we were like, also like, well, we also got to manage her too because, you know, we don't, you don't want her out there and potentially getting hurt or that type of thing with how important she is to um, what we're doing right now. So um, just trying to keep all that in mind. But it, it's, it was awesome to see her play. I think she was just out there playing. I don't think she, she didn't go into the game trying to do that. Um, but – you know, you don't do that by accident. Um, it's the type of habits that she has every day, her work ethic, her focus. Um, she's tough as nails uh, as a player. Um, you know, a lot. There's a lot of a lot of coaches, a lot of colleges, a lot of universities that that didn't even look at recruiting her. Um, and you know, a lot of people when we were recruiting her said, "You, you can't tell she's too small." I said, "She doesn't have to be good for you. She just has to be good for me." And I like uh, I, we've. I've won six championships in my career. Every championship I've won, I've had a small point guard. They play with a chip on their shoulder. People tell them they can't do, do it, and they go out every day to try and prove that they can. And I love that level of competitiveness uh, from her and Mariah. They, bo they both compete every single day, and they try and prove people wrong. And that's what Casey's all about. So uh, really proud of her, excited for her. It's a big day for her, for sure. Is she doing anything special for piling up the assists? And she's got a spectacular experience. Assist the turnover ratio. What's your one point turnovers today? One. one. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, we talked about it in the off season, you know, and she was such a prolific scorer in high school. Um, there's an adjustment to playing with really good players around you and and the type of post players that we have, and so it was a process that she she had to go through last year, and and in a, and in a COVID year when we didn't have as much time to work with them individually, we couldn't have them in in. There were, there were gaps where we could, couldn't have them in for film and different things like that. So she learned some valuable lessons last year going through that. Um, and then she's, she's just gotten better at, at uh, learning her teammates. We call it know your personnel. you got to know not only the other team's personnel, but you got to know your own personnel. you got to know where your teammates need the ball, where not to throw it to them. Just because they're open doesn't mean it's uh, the right person to throw it to. And uh, so she's, been a really, she's, a, she's a really good student of the game.
She spends a lot of time in film. She spends a lot of extra time in the gym. One of the first ones in, and the old cliche, first one in the gym, last one to leave. Well, it's, tr it's true with her. She's, she's a very dedicated and focused basketball player. Um, and so, uh, you know, once again, that stuff is starting to really pay off for her. You touched on, uh, you know, Annie working her butt off the last four years to get a result like that. Kind of talk about, you know, what she's done for the program over these years and how cool it was to see her, you know, pay off in this game. I can't, you know, really say enough great things about Annie. I mean, um, comes from a special family, a lot of a lot of football coaches and basketball coaches in, in her family. Um, her uncle was my JV coach uh, in high school years ago. Um, just, uh, you know, it's – she was one of the first players that we recruited here when we got here. Um, and uh, it's a heck of a shooter. It was a heck of a high school player and that type of thing. And, and just hasn't, you know, we've had a lot of talent here over the last four years. And she hasn't been able to get the playing time that she would like to. Um, so when you get opportunities for somebody like that to have a, a game like that where it's fun, your teammates are cheering, it, it's, it's an awesome thing um, to, to get to see uh, somebody's work pay off like that, yeah. When you schedule Clary, did you think at all about the Santoro sisters playing against each other? Uh, no, I mean we played Clary a couple years ago, so and and we know Coach Ashley very well, um, really close friend of our program, and um, it, that was that really, to be honest with you, it really hadn't entered our mind. We talked about playing again this year before uh, Corey committed to Clary, and so it just happened to be kind of uh, a coincidental thing. Um, so I know that was probably. Uh, tough, you know, it was great and probably tough at the same time for them, you know. Um, but um, it's, a, yeah, it's a great, very competitive family. Um, know, know all of them pretty well. And, and dad's, dad was their, both of their coach and, and uh, prepared them well for, you know, basketball and life after basketball, for sure. Bridget's parents aren't coaches, are they? No. Everybody else Bridget's play. dad. Bridget's dad played football at Wisconsin, though. Oh, wow. Yeah, played football at University of Wisconsin. So, Ath athletic family, but not coaches. Yeah. Talk about Bridget for a while. I mean, fifteen points, seven rebounds today. She's had a really good freshman year. So she's had a good start. She's had a good start. She's on a good uh, a good process in learning. Um, I'm I'm really pleased with her upside. Um, she's she's got to continue to learn. She'll get stronger as she continues to stay in. Um, this program and that type of thing. Um, some of the things that she needs to work on, she'll get better at. But as far as her skill level and her understanding of the game, she's got a very high IQ, uh, really good passer for a post player, obviously can shoot the ball um, really well from the outside. Um, and, uh, you know, obviously the, we like post players who can shoot the ball, you know, i.e. Lindsey Thal. And, you know, Lindsey's not going to be here f forever. And we thought Bridget was, was going to be a, a, a great player to play and learn alongside Lindsay and then to be able to be a lot like her uh, as she continues to develop. You always have a really different game coming up next. Um, hmm. When you play a game like this and you have to go into Florida State, what are some of the takeaways you take from this that you kind of can apply from you know, playing on the phone at Lake Florida? Yeah, I don't, I don't know what the parallels really are. I think, you know, um, you know, I think you can learn from every game that you're in. I think uh, the biggest thing we, we, we the takeaways from today's game is that everybody got the log game minutes. It was really important to get Bridget and Lexi Jackson and Jenna and Annie and, um, and we played Claire at the point guard some, you know, today as well, which was important to log to Bexley to to log game minutes is important when you can get them because um, you never know when those players are going to have to. You know, be put in those situations. So that that's the most valuable thing, you know, we get from a game like this is that we're able to get those players some valuable minutes on on the game. Uh, the Florida State game, you know, we've it's been kind of sitting out there. You know, um, I'm sure people will talk about we've already beat two power fives, and you know, can you beat a third? They're, they they each are individual games. Matchups are different. Um, we played. UCLA and Penn State earlier in the season. Now Florida State's played more games, has experience, and and that type of thing. So we'll we'll um, give them some rest. They have finals this week. Um, yeah, yes, we our players 
have to take finals just like everybody else, and, and their bodies need to recover and um, you know stay healthy and all that type of thing, and then we'll focus on Florida State coming up.